In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a neon text effect and we're going to be using a free template that is built into Filmora. And I'm going to be showing you how to customize that and how to make it your own. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, as you can see here, I have a blank or I guess a solid color here. This is where I'm going to be applying the text. So I'm going to go over to titles and once you go to titles here, uh, there's a lot of titles. We're actually going to be using this one here, the neon title. So I recommend searching for it. So search for neon if you don't see it on there, obviously. So you search for neon and you're going to see all of these options here. So most of these are paid. This is the only free one that actually looks like neon. That's actually really good. Okay. Now, if you want to feel, you can actually filter these by paid and free. So if I click this drop down, go ahead and hit free. It will show you all the free ones here, but this is my favorite so far, right? Where you don't have to put in a lot of work. So I'm going to go ahead and click drag and drop this on top of my solid color here. Okay. Now this is what it looks like here. As you can see on the screen here, I'm going to double click on the text here, double click on it. And instead of editing the text here, I'm going to go over to advance. So click the advance button, uh, wait for it to open up. There we go right here. All right, so here we can change a couple of things. I'm going to change this to uh, maybe something like something like this, right? You can also change the font. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change this to my favorite font, which is impact. Okay, change it to that. Pretty cool here. You also have, you know, the basics here. You know, you can align the text, left align, right align. You can bold, make the text bold. You can also make it vertical. But what I wanted to show you is going to be what's on the right side here. All right. So looking here, let me go ahead and close all these so you, I can show you step by step what these things are. All right. So we have our outline and we have our opacity down here. Don't really care about looking at the opacity here. I'm going to close the background. All right. So these are going to be our properties here. Okay. So on the top, we obviously have our text and here we have our fill. So if you open up the fill, there's two types of fill here. How do you want, uh, what, what kind of effect do you want on your text? So as you can see here, we have a color fill. That means the inside of this text is going to be filled with a color that we select. Right, for this instance, you can see that white is selected here. If I was going to change this to, let's say, this color, you're going to see that the text color is going to change to that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select the default, which is white, and you can also change this to gradient fill if you want to do that. So you can set the gradient colors here and do an image fill where you can actually upload an image when you click this button here, and it's going to be the background of your text. Okay. So I'm going to go back to color fill. And as you can see here, we also have text effects here that you can use. Uh, so I'm going to leave it as a default. Uh, you also have the opacity. How do you, how visible do you want that text fill to be? Uh, you also have the blur. If you want to blur it out, you have the ability to do so. Okay. Now that's going to be the fill section. Okay. Now, if we go underneath outline, you're going to see that we have a few different outlines here. We have three different outlines. So these are going to be what's going to glow here. So it's one above uh, the other. So the first one, as you can see, it is uh, this bright pink, right? This really uh, dark pink, I guess. And you can see that the opacity is at 100%. There's a little bit of blur. Blur is what's making it, you know, may seem like it's glowing. So if I was going to remove the blur uh, on all of these, I'm going to go ahead and remove the blur on this as well. You can see that you start to see the actual outline here. So I'm going to go to the third one here. Now we don't have any glow here. So even if you increase the opacity, you can see that this turns into an actual outline, right? All right. So to adjust this, you're going to be able to just change the colors here. So if I wanted to change this to maybe I'm going to do this theme of blues, I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to go to my next outline here. I'm going to change it to this blue here. Right. And I go to my last outline here. I'm going to change this blue here. Okay. Now you can see that this is how we're going to be able to customize this. Obviously you can add more things here. You can add more outlines. Let me go ahead and close all these. You can add more of these outlines if you want to do that. But I think these are the best options since we're using a template and we're, we're essentially making it ours, but we're going to keep uh, the template settings, but feel free to go ahead and kind of like change uh, some of these things here. Okay. Now, once you have your text here, go ahead and hit apply and there we go. Now we have our neon text here. Pretty cool stuff here. It's great that there's a template that actually show, shows you how to do this. You don't have to do the work manually, but that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.